My paper, my presentation in this conference of the Liberty, Islam and Liberty Conference uh, uh, was entitled uh, Religious Freedom in a Muslim uh, uh, Democracy, uh, the case of Tunisian constitution. Uh, I, I, in this paper, in this presentation, I addressed uh, uh, the question, the issue of uh, religious freedom and how it was examined by the National Constituent Assembly in a post-revolution Tunisia. It was one of the most controversial questions in that transitional fragile period. Uh, thank God. Thanks to uh, dialogue, thanks to peaceful uh, resolution of disagreements, uh, and that's number one. And, and second, thanks to also uh, the insightful the, or the intellectual uh, innovative insights of Nahda as a majority party, as a Muslim democratic party and a majority party whose deci decision uh, was determining in the adoption of the new constitution, thanks to both of them, we overcome those problems, and we have now one of the most progressive constitutions in the in the Arab world, in the Muslim world, if not in the world as a whole. However, such a question, the question of liberties and religious freedom, can not only be uh, um, uh, settled by legislators and politicians. It needs a long time to to take root and to get, uh, if you want, impl um, implemented. And this this is thanks to societal deep societal dialogue, thanks to a free independent media, thanks to a court, a constitutional court, and thanks also to a vibrant civil society that would help usher and receive these new values.